Let's make a new layer, drag it to the bottom here, and I'm gonna put a rectangle of color behind, just so you can kind of see what's going on. The next thing I wanna do is let's apply a threshold to this. So this is gonna force this image to completely 100% black or 100% white. So let's go to Layer, New Adjustments, Threshold, and you'll see here in this threshold window, I can drag this slider. If I drag it to the right, everything gets really dark. And if I drag it to the left, everything gets really bright. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start essentially from the bottom here because when the slider is over to the left here, the drop shadow looks nice and the tires look really nice but everything else is really kind of blown out and too white. So what I want to do here is I think that looks good, but let's make a duplicate of that. So now we have two layers and they, they look the same. You can, you can see that there. And what I want to do with this top layer, let's go double click on this threshold adjustment, bring that window back up and let's move the slider more to the right so that we get the back of the Bronco looking good. I think right about there is pretty good for this layer. So let me show you the visibility here. The top layer looks like this and the layer below it looks like that. So what I wanna do here is I want to just use the parts of this top layer that look good. So what we can do is let's make a new path and let's just kind of draw a rough area around what looks good to us. I think even this back window here looks good. Let's actually make a duplicate of this layer before we do anything. Let's hide that. And let's drag this layer up to be clipped out by that new path that we just made. And I'll reorder the layers here. So we have the invisible one on the top, you don't see that. Below that is this layer, and below that is this layer. So you can see that I'm just kind of stacking up the areas of the image that look best. And so what we want to do here is with this top layer that's invisible, turn that back on, I'm going to play with a the threshold there and get that to look best. And just to give you another way to look at this, let me turn down this opacity because I, I understand how you could get kind of lost in what I'm doing here. So this topmost layer I've turned kind of semi-transparent. So what I want to do here is let's play with that threshold and double click on that adjustment and we'll move it more to the right until it starts to look good. And I think that's looking pretty good. So what we want to do here is let's make another new curve. Let's make a new layer and then make another new curve in that. And I'm just gonna draw around the areas that I think look good. And I'm gonna leave a little gap around these wheel wells here so I can just see that for future reference. We can go in and clean this up later in Procreate or even Affinity Designer. So let me show you what I have going on here. Let me turn everything invisible except for the orange background. And I'm also going to turn up the opacity back to 100%. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this layer that we're just working on we drag it up to be clipped out by that curve. So now you'll see if I turn on the layers below, we have that layer and then this layer. And I think what we need here is we need one more version for the top, surfboards or something on the top here. So I want a little bit of shadow showing up there as well. So let's just make a duplicate of that bottom layer again. And let me turn everything off so you can see what we have. So we have that again. And let me drag it here to the top. Let's go in and play with the uh, threshold again. So we just double click on that threshold effect. 
and move the slider until the top starts looking really nice. So now you see we have a drop shadow kind of on the roof that holds that roof line on. And last but not least, let's just draw a quick clipping path for that. And next I'll just drag that to be clipped out by that top curve. So we have this top layer, the layer below that, layer below that, and the layer below that. So now you can see our Bronco is looking a lot better because we're using the best parts of the light and darks. Let me turn off the visibility, this background, so you can see what we have. Now what we can do is let's export this just as a PNG, and we're gonna go and draw over this in Procreate app for iPad. So let's go File, Export, and we'll do a PNG, and we have roughly 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, and just tap export, and tap save. 